it's been very long since I've been in front of the camera. But welcome back. I am only here for a limited time because I only flourish in the fall. But it's Halloween time, so let's get to make it. So this year, I don't think I will be doing anything outside of my house due to COVID and life and just things. It's just, it's, this, this is not the year for that. But I will be doing stuff inside of my home, um, which will basically be regular decor for me since inside of my house is technically almost very witchy and very Halloween-y itself. But today we are going to be doing a broom, a witch broom, and it will be on top of my Roomba. It's not a Roomba, but it's a Roomba. And we are going to do some things with it. So there's a few things that I got from the dollar store, from Walmart, um, some things that I've had for a very long time to help me with this craft. Um, so let's get started. So I got this broomstick, which is pretty high, 47 inches. Um, we are going to be bending this a little bit. That's why I had my heat gun, um, because we're going to heat it up and see if it works that way. I'm not even sure because of the material, um, but we're going to try anyways. Um, and then the dollar store had the mop sticks, but it didn't have any type of mop. Um, at the bottom which are sold separately so I just went to Walmart and got this big guy um, jumbo um, yeah and then there's going to be some painting involved maybe some molding with some clay depending on how I feel but I kind of want this to look really nice as much as, as possible maybe to look like a Nimbus 3000 I don't know yet I have a lot of ideas stuck in my head that I need get out so we're gonna start with this because I feel like it's much easier that I can do right now while my kid is in school um, I have another huge 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 project um, coming up which is again Harry Potter um, esque and I'm super excited about it but also very scared to touch it and start creating only because I don't want to mess up um, and just because my mind always comes up with different ideas as well but we're gonna do that next hopefully if not there's another small project that I want to do um, and yeah I'm excited so first off we're gonna take the sticker off because we don't need it it's not needed so let's get rid of that but I want to take it off as nicely as possible so we're just going to heat it up
I did the whole stick into clay. I kind of wanted it to have texture, so. And I put twine. It's called twine. So jute twine. Yeah, that's what I used for the top. Um, it's it's not curved, but I mean it's bent, and that's fine. Um, I tried to put the mop together, and I realized that it's the same size at the end. So I'm going to have to use some pliers and just like make it smaller so I can fit. Um, but I'm going to paint this either black or or brown. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel um, until I do it. But I'm going to do that off camera. So I'll be back. Okay, so we're on day two. Um, I let it dry last night and then I went to go do some other things. But this is what it looks like. It's supposed to be this way. I know, like, what kind of broomstick? I don't know, it's kind of funky, but I'll deal with it. We're going to unravel the mop, which I know is going to be very tedious. Um, luckily, you don't have to see all of that or do any of it unless you wanted to. And then we're going to spray paint that. Um, I might take you with me so you can see what spray paint I use in a garage um, to spray paint it in the garage. So we'll do that as well. And. I'm already breaking my stick! But it's a new day and we're on part two of the vacuum witch broom. So let's get started and fix this part in the meantime. I've already cracked it. So let's go fix this and let's do the mop part of the room. So I spray painted it, but I spray painted the wrong side, so I have to flip it over. Yay! Because I don't want to glue it directly on my vacuum, I have command strips, which will hopefully put it and keep it in, in place. 